right, thank you for the follow. Sorry, this is my first time setting things up, so I've, uh... Still trying to figure out how to set up my messages in a place where I can see them. Got my computer across the room. <laughs> Workbench on the other side. First and foremost thing on this channel, we acknowledge Mount Dew as the nectar of the gods. Good question. So, the two main species that I use um, are walnut and ash. Uh, I used to offer a ton of different wood species for people, um, but kind of that most people just don't know their wood that well. And so, <laughs> they were just looking for a light and dark option, and they made it a whole lot easier for me to keep track of. So, this one right here, this is walnut, and then this board, this lighter color, this is the ash. Thank you. 
how's your day been? How's your Sunday? to attach more then
Okay, so there's the cover. And I just gotta attach the text block. How's it going, Knothead? How are you? Yeah, probably. I have the money for a stream deck, though. Not yet. It's hard. Especially since every single time I get more money, I just buy more tools. Really? <laughs> I don't even know how to use one. Don't you need like multiple cameras set up to Seems like that. I only have the two. find a better way to check my chat too. I have it on my tablet but it won't like switch into landscape mode for some reason. Twitch just has terrible laps apparently. Part is just getting started. And then once you do that, you can make improvements.
Yeah, I, uh, as I was saying earlier, my mic <laughs> set up on my desk. I need to get a USB extension so I can fix it. couple of USB extensions, but I need to get, probably need to get at least two more, so that way I'm not tripping over the one that I have set up to the, the top-down camera, and then I'll get one for my, for my mic so I can move it over here. Thanks for the follow. Looks like I got up to four today, but. I still don't have to see who. want to be a mod? How do you do that? Probably not something I can do from the app, huh?
worst thing about using a pegboard is that my string gets caught on it all the time. I just try to throw it out of the way and it gets stuck on all the hooks. doing there today no there's not even a tag actually for book binding uh, so I just kind of had to use wood as a tag um, so I don't know for this is my first time on twitch at all so <laughs> trying to figure out what I'm doing. But yeah, so today I'm working on a, a secret Belgian binding. Original work, yeah. I'll, I know, I gotta probably use a lot more tags. I just put on one today. Seriously threw this together last minute, so. Hoping to make this more regular. It's very nice. Very nice. Especially this wood. I, uh, I treat everything that I um, use with orange oil, so it smells amazing. Just give it a whiff. Whenever I uh, go to craft shows or anything, people always love to pick up my books and just smell them. <laughs> I think it's kind of weird, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the orange beeswaxy smell. I know. They really don't. You know, I'm new to Twitch, so I really don't know anything. Is there like a way to ask for more tags? Is that like a is that like a thing or does Twitch just moderate that themselves? You know, but I feel like their maker section in general is just kinda growing still, you know? Yeah, 
Twitch is still definitely geared heavily around video game streams, but I think this is a great place just, you know, to, to watch makers and see the projects people are working on. Especially a great place to learn something new because you can see somebody slow down, take their time, kind of explain the processes a little bit more. So yeah, so I got these wooden journals I'm working on right now, um, and then I don't think I have it posted on my Etsy yet, but I have some Japanese prints um, that I've been working on. So I'm trying to get it close, as close as I can to like the original style of the Japanese woodblock prints, but it's a little difficult. It's a, it's quite the craft to get into. have some handmade Japanese papers that I've been using. And I've been thinking about just uh, finding a way to outline it and then coming back through with watercolor to kind of give it that woodblock look. Rather than simply print it on. I know there's a guy on Twitch who, that's all he does is Japanese woodblockers. Yeah, true, true. I think, isn't there a way to just link it directly to YouTube so that it just shoot straight over once you're done. Oh, okay, so you have to manually. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. Okay. Yeah, 
that'd be sweet. You can help me with that. I'm gonna need a lot of help getting this thing set up. But hey, you know, at least it started. Okay, well, there you go, see? You live, you learn. I thought that my USB could charge the camera as I film, but apparently not. We're back on yet? Let's see. Not yet, huh? Yeah, why is it small? That's really weird. Hey, there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. Oh, 
Okay, so that's super weird. Yeah, well, I don't know why that USB can't keep it charged. It's a little worrisome because I don't know how long battery lasts. I think that one was pretty much fully charged. Might need to find a different way. Do I have to attach an HDMI cord to the camera? So they have both an HDMI and a USB. capture card so I couldn't just plug an HDMI straight into my computer. Although that'd be awesome. Just another reason why you should not build with a mini ITX motherboard. I have to get an external graphic or a uh, capture card. Secret Belgium binding. So yeah, so these are kind of cool, just because of the way that it hides the stitch work when it's closed as opposed to an open binding. I don't know if I have an open Coptic stitch close by. There we go. Just use my personal. There's the difference. So, so this one you can see the, the stitching that holds it together. This one you can't. And uh, there you go. So the design here, uh, it's a pretty familiar design. It's not my favorite, personally, um, but it tends to be a favorite. People uh, people really like it. But this is a Sill, the World Tree. Uh, Norse mythology, they conceptualized this as the universe. Um, and so the gods live up in the top of the tree in a place called Asgard. We live in the middle in a place called Midgard. And then the three fates sit at the bottom of the tree and they weave all of our lives together in great tapestry. So that's what I have the Celtic knot work there for. But if you look closely, I don't know if you can see it on camera. Probably not very well. Um, but I designed this so that it had a three way split. 
trunk down here in the tree. Um, and that was to represent the knots uh, or the fates that, that sit there and weave all of our lives together. So there's that design. Uh, like I said, it's not my favorite. Uh, most of my designs are based on actual historic um, artifacts from Viking history. Um, so I got a lot of designs that I sketched directly off of boats uh, or uh, brooches. I've got a pendant design, so maybe I'll show those um, tomorrow, uh, sometime during the week. But uh, yeah, that's it for today, doing that one. Uh, maybe next week I'll work on a, on a Coptic stitch so you can see the kind of the different way that works. Uh, or maybe I'll put together one of my Japanese prints. So there you go, that's it for today. Glad it was a success. Thanks for, uh, for signing on and take care. Have a good one.